finally going to be recording my first song ever in an actual recording studio. I am so freaking excited. It's not even funny. And I just cannot wait to finally record this. I want to see what it sounds like. I want to see what it just feels like to even be in a recording studio. I mean, this is just so freaking exciting. I'm doing it on Friday, so this week, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. In other news, um, I went to a fashion show with some friends, and excuse that noise, that's the heat. I know it's like really loud, but I'm sitting right by the vent, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, I went to a fashion show with my friends, and it was actually like a co-signment store, so I will show you all what I got. Okay, <clears throat> I got a few things. <clears throat> so from the consignment store, I picked up these Betsy Johnson sandals. Uh, ooh, I forgot what they were called. I looked them up online and they had like a name, but I forgot what they're called. I'll put them in the description box. So perfect for spring. Um, beautiful Italian leather and I just love the design like this is so me for spring anyway I mean I have a lot of different styles but this is one of them and I just love it this was really fun so I got these shoes <clears throat> I also picked up a winter coat even though winter's pretty much almost over can you see that this probably isn't the best way to show it, but it's a black Cole Haan coat. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if it's wool or whatever, but this um, just looks really good on me. And it's really like businessy, and I really like that. So I got that. And last but not least, a white belt by Supreme Being. That's the only thing I liked about this belt was that it said Supreme Being and then under it it says created first amongst equals and I looked this company up and it's like a company in the UK. I just thought the Supreme Being logo was re really hot. So yeah, I got that stuff so that made my day. Um, What else has been up with me? I've been writing a lot like writing a lot of music uh that's been really fun oh yeah my baby turned two months she's a lot bigger now too we have to take her to the doctor to see how much she weighs i don't even know she's a big girl though and she's so much more alert she's smiling laughing cooing oh i love this age i wish she could stay this age forever mm -mm -mm -mm. oh my next beauty buys you guys need to know this because i need to upgrade a lot of different items in my makeup collection one you know i use um makeup forever face and body foundation and i use it in natural beige number three um which is for medium skin with pink undertones but I think sometimes that I look a little bit pink or something. I don't know. Sometimes I just notice that change. So I don't really want to look like that. So I think maybe I'll use that when I kind of have a tan. And instead, I'm going to try Makeup Forever Face and Body in um, Soft Beige, I think it's called. It's number one. And that's for light to medium skin with pink undertones. So it's pretty much the same thing, just a tad bit lighter. I called Sephora. Um on State Street and they have it so I'm gonna try it out tomorrow or sometime this week see what happens with that I also want to try Clinique um, concealer you all know that I cannot find a good concealer to save my life um, just so you know I don't like concealer that looks like super like wet and creamy or something under your eye I don't really see what the point of that is I want it to be kind of like a highlight so lighter than my skin but not creamy and wet looking that's not, you know, I don't want to look oily and wet. It's weird. Mm -mm. What else? Mm. A 
need a good gel eyeliner. Usually I just use drugstore brands for that because I feel like it's all the same. But lately I'm starting to see like a difference and my drugstore Maybelline one dried out like super fast. So I did not appreciate that and I'm probably going to get one that costs a little more just to avoid that problem from happening again. Um, so foundation, concealer, liner. Oh, also... I love um, colored eyeshadows. I don't wear them a lot, but since spring is coming and everything, I'm definitely going to be having a lot more bright makeup tutorials to come. And I just like wearing brighter colors when it's nice out anyway. So, I want to get a lot of like purples and, and uh, shimmers and just really bold colors. Tomorrow's wash day. My hair looks crazy. I went to a dubstep concert um, this weekend and I curled my hair for it and it was so fun. I had such a good time. Um, I even got on the mic at the end because it was my brother's show so I can do that family. But it was so fun. Um, I met a lot of cool people like a lot of cool DJs and other people in music so that was cool. And yeah, my hair was curly. I actually use hairspray. I never use hairspray. I have Sebastian hairspray in my collection, but I never use it. Like I had it for like a year and I probably used it three times. So I used it last night, or not last night, but when I went, um, Thursday night. And my hair is like still kind of curly, but it's just getting kind of puffy too because it's like really humid here now and it's like raining slash snowing. So now my hair is just really big and crazy. But tomorrow's wash day, so that will be fixed tomorrow. I guess that's it, really. Um, once again, I'm going to the studio this Friday. Can't wait to record my song. I'll let you all know how it goes. And I might, 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 might post it. I don't know yet. We have to see. I might not even have it mixed and mastered the same day that it's recorded, so we'll see. But I will let you know how the session goes. Can you Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, wait.